With SingleSig, your phones are secured by one key on your device. SingleSig setups are easy to set up, operate, and recover your funds compared to the multi-sig setup. Choosing multi-sig shield provides you a more advanced security model against unwanted third-party attacks. With one key stored on your device and another key stored on Blockstream servers, which is protected by your two-factor authentication method of choice, it becomes increasingly difficult for attackers to spend your funds. 2FA is an additional layer of security. 2FA means that two devices have to approve the transaction before the transaction goes through. You can set up your 2FA using text, email, or an authenticator app of your choice. However, if you lose your 2FA, you're going to need to do a 2FA reset. This means your Bitcoin and liquid assets will be unspendable for one year. So you're going to have to make sure that you keep your 2FA safe or you set up multiple forms of 2FA. And now I'd like to introduce you to Rich. He's from our support team and he's a really swell and a really smart guy. Rich is going to be going over some additional security protocols that we can follow. So with that, I'm going to wait for Rich to call in. Thanks for having me on, Drew. Drew was nice enough to share a little bit of a spotlight to let me make an important note about security policies. So I'll make this quick. Along with your recovery phrase, you also need to know your security policy in order to restore your green wallet or log into your Blockstream Jade. This is due to the way wallet generation works. A wallet that uses multi-sig shield actually leads to a completely different wallet when its exact same recovery phrase is logged into by selecting single sig. If you ever picked the wrong security policy when restoring, I'm assuming you panicked when your wallet was showing zero balance. Not to worry. In these situations, just restore or log into your wallet using the policy you chose during setup, and your Bitcoin will magically appear. If you have any other questions about wallet types or which security policy might be best for you, you can find me by submitting a ticket on help.blockstream.com. Thanks for sharing, Drew.